Hi, Kieran Stone here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn your own handwriting into a customized logo, brush, and watermark in Photoshop. To start off, you'll just need to write your name on a piece of paper. You can get someone else to write it or write your business name. It can be anything you want. Just write it on a white piece of paper with a black Sharpie and take a photo of it. So I've just written my own name here. I personally like my own handwriting, may not be the best, but at least it's personal. Then all I need to do is correct some of the white balance here. This paper looks a bit blue, so I'm just gonna use a white balance tool there. And I wanna make a good contrast between the white paper and the black writing. So I'm gonna turn my whites right up and the blacks right down. Yeah, that's all I need to do. And then open it into Photoshop. So once it's open in Photoshop, I want to select all the letters out of this white background. So I'm just gonna use the magic wand tool for that and just click on each letter and I'm just gonna hold down shift just so it will add each selection to the previous. Almost done, there we go. Then press Control or Command J just to turn that into a new layer and delete my original layer. So now I've got my handwriting on a transparent background and I kind of feel like the writing's maybe a little too thin. What am I making it a little bit thicker? So I'm just gonna hold Control and Command and click on that layer. That'll bring the selection back up. Go to Select, Modify, Expand. So I'm just gonna expand this selection by 10 pixels, that'll do. So now my selection's a little bigger and just gonna go to fill, which is shift F5 and fill it with black. There we go, that's now control D just to get rid of that selection and that's made my handwriting a little bigger. Next, I want to add my website down here. You can add your business name or just write your own name again. I'm just gonna select a text layer. You can choose whatever font you want as well. I'm just using black text and whatever the default was. And kieranstone.com. Always throughout all this, just make sure that the, the spelling is right on everything. You wouldn't want to have a watermark where your name's spelt wrong. Okay, that's good. Just wanna make that a little bigger, so I'll Control or Command T, hold down Shift just so the proportions stay right. Something about there. V just to move it. And just move it around until it seems to fit with everything else. Yeah, that works pretty good. Now I'm just gonna crop it down to size. So I press C and just crop it until it finds the edges of all those pixels. There we go. Uh, one thing I will do as well, just in case there is some little gaps throughout here, it doesn't look like it's too bad at the moment, but you may need to do this. So I'll just show you. If you select your handwriting layer and go up to image, adjustment and threshold, and just drag that all the way to the right. It should be okay if you've got this spike over here on the left, but this will just make sure that there's no little bits of gray or anything throughout your handwriting there. Okay, that's pretty good there. So that's going to be my brush. I'm just gonna go to image, uh, edit, sorry. Define brush preset, and I'll just call it Keystone Logo and click OK. And that's that. Let's try it out. Go to my photo here, select my brush tool, or press B. And now I've got this nice big brush here. Just gonna create a new layer. And I'm just gonna make the size of that a bit smaller until it looks in proportion with the image. Might select white and just press as you would normal, a normal brush. 
And there we go. You can change the opacity, make it so it doesn't stand out too much. You can select any color you want. You can select a color that matches something from the rest of the image. Put it wherever you want. Change the opacity. Select blue. Make it as big as you want. You can do it however you want. But this way, you've always got a brush that you can just stamp on any image, any size. And you've also got a logo that you can use. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other tutorials on YouTube or see some full edit Photoshop tutorials on my website, kieranstone.com. And I'll see you next time.